Hi, I'm Hank Green. I make videos for the YouTube channel SciShow, where we explore how the universe works. If you understand a little about subjects like physics and chemistry, you might be able to create all kinds of cool projects and experiments, like solar ovens. Solar ovens are great because they're pretty small, so they're easy to move around. And unlike the oven you might have in your kitchen, solar ovens also don't require electricity. Instead, they use the power of the sun to warm up food. So no matter where you are, you can make yourself a warm snack as long as you have some good sunlight to work with. Let's get started. To do this experiment, you'll need something to become your solar oven, like this cardboard box. You also need aluminum foil and a thermometer. We included an adorable little tiny one in your box. First, open your box and place the aluminum foil inside. You might need a little more aluminum foil. There's probably some somewhere around your house. Make sure the aluminum foil covers all the surface on the top and the bottom of the inside of the box. Then put the thermometer inside the box. Next, you're going to need to go find a sunny area. This will work best if there aren't many trees or buildings nearby. And if you start this while there's still plenty of daylight left. Once you've found your spot, leave everything out in the sun for a while and watch the thermometer to see how things warm up. Solar ovens work by capturing light and heat from the sun. When I build my oven, I lined it with foil, which is shiny and reflective. Then when I set it outside, rays of sunlight hit that foil and were reflected all over the inside of the box. That stopped the sunlight and heat from escaping right away, so the inside of the box warmed up. If your solar oven didn't warm up, make sure that it's in an area with bright sunlight, and remember that the position of the sun changes during the day. You might also have some trouble with your oven if it's really cold outside. It might be warmer in the oven than it is outside of the oven. The temperature difference might be significant, but it might not be hot enough to warm up any food. So if it's winter where you're at, you could try putting your oven in a sunny windowsill. Our design for a solar oven is pretty good, but I have a challenge for you. I want you to find a way to make it even better. Depending on what you want to do with it, better could mean that it gets hotter, or maybe it stays hot longer, or maybe you want a solar oven that's just big enough to heat one hot dog, and then you can take it with you wherever you go. Whatever your goal is, here are some questions to help you brainstorm. First, do you think you could have put your oven in a better spot? Remember that the sun changes position throughout the day, so some spots are only sunny for a few hours at a time. Can you find an area that's sunny all day? Second, think about the reflective material you used for your original oven. Foil is great, but could you find something more reflective? Or can you think of a way to use more foil to bounce more light into your box? We think plastic wrap would be a good addition to your oven, but I'm not going to tell you why. Take some time to think about it. You could also talk it over with a friend or an adult if you want some help. As you design your best solar oven ever, make sure to write Write down what changes you're making. That way, you can compare your designs and figure out which one is best. You can even find a chart in your Universe Unboxed kit to help you write things down. If you come up with a really useful design, let us know in the comments. We would love to hear what you invent. Once you've perfected your oven, you can then use it to make a meal. You can melt cheese to make nachos, or melt a marshmallow for the perfect s'more. If your oven is hot enough, you can even try popping popcorn. Whatever you make, I hope you enjoy your new solar oven. Thanks for experimenting with me.